Hello everyone, my name is Jason, a current year one medical student at Hong Kong U. Today I'm going to go over my everyday carry, including my tech, my gadgets, as well as what I bring day to day as a medical student that enhances my daily workflow. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Usually, usually my everyday carry, I have this iPhone here. So for my left pocket, I usually have my iPhone. And for my right pocket, uh, that's usually my wallet or my keys. And uh, for my left pocket, the iPhone model is the iPhone 14 Pro, uh, the standard model, the smallest size, w uh, paired with a case of high case and a screen protector. Personally, I've been absolutely in love with this phone for the past few months that I've gotten it. So the previous phone that I've had for years is the iPhone XS Max. That phone was completely disastrous at the end. The screen was broken, the microphone was broken, the camera was broken and I was still using it for a lot a long time because I just didn't want to upgrade, I didn't want to shout the cash to upgrade and when I finally dropped it on the street I was like okay this is an excuse for me to upgrade and I finally shelled out a lot of cash on this brand new phone but it was so so worth it for me because of the opportunity cost for content creation with the amazing camera arrays on the back, photo opportunities for video opportunities that it allows me to bring and as well as the productivity that I had with this phone as well was really fast and uh, all these apps that I have like Anki, my fitness pal, I have tracking apps and Audible and Strong, really, really, really the uh, widgets, Dynamic Island. Besides the phone, I would also carry, which happens to be in my bag, bag in this case, my keys. So this usually goes in my pocket or in my, my bag. This is a set of the Orbit Key ecosystem. What the Orbit Key is, is that it's basically a really cool little plastic or leather, depending on the model you get. I got the Orbit Key Active, which is like a little polymer plastic, which allows you to slot in your keys instead of like a keychain where you're jingling, jingling about when you're carrying the bag or carrying your pocket and your keys all dangle around and scratch around. This is a really organized way to put in your keys if you want to use your key to unlock something, your door, your locker, my student locker for example, I just swing it out and insert it like a badass and I could just swing it back down and it's really neat, doesn't dangle around and it's really compact as well. So I decided to also get the Orbit Key Multi-Tool version 2 and this is absolutely amazing. So it basically slots in like a normal key in this Orbit Key uh, tool. And within this Orbit Key multi-tool, you can see that there is an imperial and metric ruler that I could use. Uh, there is a filer and there is like a little pry tool for bottle opening, for letter opening, and as well as package opening. And there's also a Phillips head screwdriver on the other end where I could just easily pop out and it acts like a, the Phillips head screwdriver. There's also a flat head screwdriver, which I've not used before. And overall, it's an amazing multi-tool for me to carry around and use. So besides that, in my pocket, obviously I'll carry my wallet. I really, really want to go like uh, wallet-less, for example, and have it all in my phone. Unfortunately, that is not possible in uh, Hong Kong society. Uh, so I did, I do carry out uh, all my cards and cash sometimes in this wallet. So this is a Louis Vuitton bifold wallet. And one thing uh, very interesting is I got a Disney gold card in here. So Disneyland gold card, and I could easily go to Disneyland at any time that I want uh, because it's really accessible in the city. And I also have my gym membership. So uh, basically I carry this all day around. So whenever I feel like going to gym, I could just pop into the gym because at this gym membership, that uh, gives me access to a lot, a lot of gym locations in my city. So if I do like pass by a gym, I could just go in and have a quick workout. So that's one thing, one really cool about the gym membership and the Disneyland Gold Card is like, I don't have to pre-plan ahead of stuff. I, if I feel like going to gym, feel like going to Disneyland, I just go. So it's, it's absolutely been amazing. Now, because I do lose my wallet and I'm a very clumsy person, one tech gadget I use and slot in this uh, Louis Vuitton inside this little sleeve here 
is an air tag and this air tag i actually customize it and put a jazz jason with a little dog emoji on the side uh, effectively this air tag allows me to keep track of my wallet 24 7 with gps and it uses the apple find my network with a lot of iphones on the street so i can easily locate it even though it's out of bluetooth range because it'll connect to other iphones on the street when i lose it and using the iphone 14 pro i could use the near proximity feature in the find my app to locate and track where the air tag is really easily and play a sound on it uh, so i can find it very easily so far i've not had one scenario where i had to actually properly use it using the air tag which is good it's just a peace of mind knowing that uh, there is an air tag here because once if i do lose this wallet it's a huge disaster because a lot a lot of stuff in here so i do not want that uh, happening anytime in the future and now moving on to the stuff in my bag. So this is a Bellroy uh, backpack. Now Bellroy, if you've not heard, they, ma and they make some really awesome wallets and, and backpacks. So this is a Bellroy everyday backpack in blue. It's, it's quite scuffled up. I've been using this for years and I really like just the minimal aesthetic of it. And inside the backpack, it's got two compartments, the main, uh, the main compartment and the front compartment. The front compartment has a slot where you can put in some essentials, as well as it has a key chain holder where I could dangle my orbit key here. And it slots in the orbit key really easily. I could just slot it in there. It also got a main compartment. And within the main compartment, it's got a side compartment here where I put my daily essentials and obviously the big space where I could put all sorts of stuff like my headphones as well as space for my laptop and iPad. So let's go on to the main compartment. So the main compartment, as you can see here, there's a really, really nice little label from Bellroy. This bag is designed to move with you through your worlds and the little moments in between. We hope you travel well together for years to come. That's really cute. So within this little sleeve in here uh, that is coated, I have my uh, daily iPad. So this iPad is the iPad Pro 11 inch. In secondary school, I used my iPad way more in class for actually using good notes and using my Apple Pencil to write notes and uh, drawing these amazing aesthetic notes. If you're interested in my aesthetic notes and how I drew these aesthetic iPad notes, check this video up above. But anyway, for now in university, because I don't really take notes now, I use an Anki workflow for medical school. I mainly use my iPad to annotate these lecture slides and also use it as mainly an entertainment device. I occasionally do draw some mind maps in good notes here. So for example, in biochemistry. So I draw all these pathways within biochemistry and as well as so memory palaces so memory palace is an awesome amazing memory uh, system and uh, basically i draw out my memory palaces and what they are and occasionally i do doodle on here just to make the concepts really clear when i'm trying to understand the concepts here so for example here i've got uh, the receptors in pharmaco uh, dynamics uh, in alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, all these receptors. And it's basically a way for me to organize my thoughts, organize all these ideas, all these concepts within medicine. For my headphones of choice, it's the WH-1000 Mark IVs from Sony. Uh, these are really, really good noise cancelling headphones. And uh, let's say here, I'm currently in the Hong Kong Seaside Harbour, as you can see and there's a lot of wind and sea noise and I could just pop this on uh, it cancels basically all the noise for me to focus, listen to audiobooks in Audible or Spotify for music usually when I'm out and about with my headphones uh, I usually during like for example transit or walking around in the city for example with these dead times I usually listen to some audiobooks through Audible and this makes the transit and the journey more productive Besides Audible, obviously listen to music if I don't feel like listening to audiobooks. But if I'm really feeling the study mood, I will just get on Anki because these are the dead times where I could review my Anki and finish up my Anki flashcards. And when I'm transiting to university or transiting around school, for example, 
just do the flashcards and the reviews will just magically complete by the end of the day. So in the back here, I also carry a Kindle. The Kindle is basically an awesome device to read and inspire yourself. And mainly I've only been listening and reading to non-fiction books and self-help and productivity books. And finally thing, another thing in the main compartment is this Pelican SD card holder. And because I've got a lot of video projects uh, concurrently, um, this is an amazing because I've got multiple SD cards for multiple video projects. So on the left side here, I got formatted. Basically, SD cards are empty. And on the right hand side, I've got SD cards that are currently having a video project right now. So it's easily available for me to see and what's going on. I could just easily swap uh, between footages, use the appropriate SD card here. And also it just prevents me to lose SD cards really easily. So yeah, it's a really amazing tough hard shell SD card case that I really love for any of you content creators out there. Click here if you're interested in what's in my iPhone and how I turn my iPhone into the ultimate productivity machine. Thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hasta luego.